Yeah, so, I mean, at this point, does it really matter what that sound is? You know, you could just make it a cowbell and that would probably be cool. Like this. And I, I might. Fuck it, let's... What? Wood block, let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's make a wood block do that sound. And then the sequence is all there. Probably just sound cool, hopefully, maybe. Um, do we have a... So this is it's a pretty technical sequence. There we go. And then probably would need a compressor on it, like uh, to do the side chainies. So take the input from SC input, probably. And then maybe saturate it. So this is kind of my style of synthesis. I feel like <laughs> rather than. You know, syn actually synthesizing sound with a synth. I kind of like sampling stuff and messing with it that way. And it's kind of the same thing anyway, right? Because it's like all I'm doing by putting the sample in there is essentially just like having a synth with a, a complex waveform and an envelope on it at, uh, for this woodblock sound in particular. But it's just like, I don't know, uh, quite often I just am like, oh, screw wasting my time actually learning or making a sound. So I think I need to pitch that up a few semitones. Okay, so let's get rid of that clip and that clip, and then instead have a wood block, and then maybe let's also have a cowbell. Tiny cowbell, sounds good. Okay, so. Here's my genius dubstep sound design. Okay, and then this time we're gonna go air horns. Okay, uh, and this uh, be in the right pitch is the only thing. Something like that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> maybe, maybe it needs to be faster. Or maybe let's uh, let's have it do it in an arpeggio, like Ingvi Malmsteen of air horns. Yeah, I feel like once you have the mix there and like all that shit, it doesn't sound doesn't really matter. Like <laughs> once the drum mix is good, you're good. <laughs> Just distort shit and put a sub under it and sidechain everything. <laughs> Just got to get the drum mix good. So yeah, I think that's a one of the things. Right, right. Like when I when I was first starting to produce bass music, I was like, oh man, I can never make the bass sounds, but they're really not that important. What's important is the sub and the drums, I reckon. Because if we take out all of this, it still sounds like a banger. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com.